second attempt at making the video. I thought y'all would think I was a terrible person in the first one, so I know some of you already think that anyway. Oh, Lounging with Lisa. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. In the other video, I mentioned that, um, I'll just tell you everything I said in the other video and you can still think I'm a hideous person. It really doesn't matter what you think. Sometimes people are more free when they stop being afraid of what other people think. One moment. I had to clear my throat and I didn't want anyone to report me. So, um, yeah, today's the anniversary of Austin's death. I'm sorry, I'm moving around wildly because I'm trying to get some light on the subject. But what I said before is Austin was my stepson, for those who are new. He died suddenly one year ago from a heroin overdose, which turned out not to be heroin. It was that, it was, um, oh, hang on, let me think what it was. He thought it was heroin, but it was the other thing. Good gravy, it finally came to me, fentanyl toxicity. And, um, yeah, so that happened last year, but I didn't do a countdown this year. So I was telling you that I don't do countdowns anymore because it makes me feel better to not dwell on being a countdown person. I don't know if you know what I mean about a countdown. It's the final countdown. Ba -do -do. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da. It's like you go on, like say, take Austin, for example. He died on August, I always say August, April 13. I can't get comfortable. So like around April 1st or something, I might have said back when I was a countdowner, well, we're coming up on that thing. And last year at this time, we did this, out and the other. I did mention to whoever that last time I saw him personally was on uh, Perpetual's birthday, March 30. But I just decided I'm not going to do this because I've done it my whole life. Not just with death, but a breakup with a boyfriend or some goofy crap. You know, oh, last year at this time, we were frolicking through the uh, wilderness uh, with daisies uh, surrounding us as we rolled in the moss and made violent love to one another or whatever. It's just not healthy for my own thing. So, um, yeah, I just thought that you might get upset if I said that, but now I've just said it again. So, don't get upset. It's okay. I'm doing this for my own mental health, which is teetering on the brink of um, snapping at the moment. Today, uh, moving along from that, I'm not a countdown. Uh, I'm not a final countdown woman anymore. It makes me feel better. And I have decided to um, stop listening to they. You know, they say. They say that you should drink 87 glasses of water a day. They say that blah, blah, blah. I'm over they. I'm sick of they. I want nothing to do with they. And I keep making the cross sign like I'm suddenly Catholic. I've decided to be my own they. Okay? I say that it's not healthy for me to do a countdown. I also say... That if I have a donut every now and again, it's not going to kill me, ladies and gentlemen. With that in mind, I leaped in Edna wildly and zoomed down to the Golden Dawn and picked up some donuts. Yes, mind over matter. I would burst into that song where it is, whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she'll chew you up. Whoa, here she comes. She's a catnip eater. I don't really think they eat catnip, do they? Look at her. I love her so. That's Bernadette. Yeah, so at any rate, um, I'm just dropping in to tell you that I also filed for unemployment today for the first time in my life. I can't deal with these shadows. I guess it's okay. The shadows. Um, yeah, that was a real trip, a real experience, a real, um, what was it? It wasn't really that hideous on the computer, but, you know, it takes forever and this, that, and the other, and print this out and do that and study the other and make bi-weekly calls and all this jazz. And you know my feelings on this, so I'm not even going to get into it. And I won't get into it. And you won't make me get into it. So then I was perusing, perusing uh, YouTube. I'm really amazed at some of the people who are just, um, oh my dear, Bernie Sanders endorsed uh, Joe Biden. You know that I'm uh, no politics. You know, I can't take it. I'm not in the political paradigm at all. I think it's hideous. I think it's a cult. I think everybody should get the out of, uh, come out of Babylon, my whatever I said before about it, uh, my creatures and whatever. That's how I feel about it. Cult. C-U-L-T cult. Where you have to defend the indefensible if you're on a side. I'm not doing it. I haven't done it in years and I like it. I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it, like it. Yes, I do. The singing Tourette syndrome is in full swing today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so yeah, I was just amazed at all these people that were, oh my God, surprised that Bernie Sanders would endorse Joe Biden. Come on. 
It's the same playbook they used in 2016 with something thrown in for good measure this year, if you catch my drift. The thing. Bernie's making cute noises, God love. Let me see. Well, come here. I don't even know if she's a... Oh, she is a cat and a half. She'll bump into my arm and stuff directly. Yeah, it's just crazy. I don't even get it. I don't know. I don't understand it. I can't tolerate it, and I won't tolerate it. So, yeah, a lot of people are just disgusted over it. Oh, I can't believe he did it. Oh, never vote for Biden. Don't vote for anyone, is my view. Don't, let's uh, delegitimize the system and get rid of it, ladies and gentlemen, because it's just the same old insanity all the time. Oh, my God. All right, I don't know what else to say. Um, I guess I'll play this back and see if I'm going to upload it. There were other things I talked about last time, though. I went on a little bit more about the donuts, I guess, and going to town and... I don't think I went on about Austin too much. I don't remember. I can't keep track of this. And really, I should just stop worrying about uploading and stuff. I know people are on edge lately, big time. They're on the muscle. And the only reason I know this is because I'm on the muscle. I'm on edge. I'm, you know, ready to scale a tall building or something. Oh, yeah. Happy holidays. Um, Yeah. So, um... I'm sure that other people are as well, and they just are itching to just find something and just, ooh, just get mad about it and go on about it. So go ahead and do it if you need to. I don't mind. All right. Well, I think I'm done. Uh, I don't have the book in here. Oh, you know what? I'll hold up this. Hold this up. Hold up this. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me. Join others. Drop your political identities and everything to do with it. Um, let's focus on other things that might be happening right now. Big time. Um, research for... Wait a minute. Uh, the political identities... Uh, I don't know. Research before you judge. Is that right? Um, leave labels at the door. That's right. And uh, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Actually, check out Michael Parenti and what he had to say. Now, he is totally snackish in my view, ladies and gentlemen, but he's in his 80s now. He looks like that, but in his 80s. Yeah. Here's the book. Make Believe Media, ladies and gentlemen. Make Believe Media. Always seems to be right all of a sudden when something big unfolds, you know? Really surprises the hell out of me. Hell, I said hell. Oh, my God. Call the police. Bye.